visit experiment 47C-678. Subject, 37413. You okay? I'm fine. You want to talk about your nightmares? I said stay out of my head! I am! You're just messing with your tattoo again. Look, if you want to talk about it, or I can put in mental blocks if that's okay with you. You can stay out of my head! That's what you can do for me. I'm just trying to help. Shut up! Kalia, I just... I said shut up! Stand back or I'll shoot. Okay. Pull it now since you're so trigger happy. Remy! Let's see if you counted your bullets right. Remy! Guess you did. Remy, that's enough. Last thing we need is a whole troop after us because we killed one of their own. So what? We can take whatever comes our way. And I thought you of all people would want to see him die. Look, here's a chance to take revenge for the eight years they took away from you. For all the times you begged for mercy, but they increased the pain. For all the needles and knives cutting into your flesh and electricity running through your body. For the time when they stripped away your humanity and branded you a monster, you could show them what it feels like to suffer. I never told you any of that. You've been inside my head. Of course I have. I'm a telepath. I can't help but that I know a person before they even speak a word. It's not by choice. It just happens. And right now, I can see everything in his. All the lives he's ruined, all the homes he's burned, and all the people he led to the slaughter. People like you and me. We kill him, and it's one less evil in the world. No, it's not. You can't just judge a person by what's on the surface of their thoughts. Yes, you can. You can see people's hopes and fears, and everything they think and care about is yours. And you would know what it's like to kill someone. You killed a guard. I was a 13-year-old cornered in a dark cell. What was I supposed to do? Nothing. It wasn't your fault. It doesn't matter. I still did what I did to a guard who was maybe a little older than him. I felt his blood on my hands and I watched the light leave his eyes. I knew what it was like to feel powerful and consumed. Trust me, once you let that part of you go, you can never get it back. Instead, it becomes a part of you that you can either fear or embrace. That's why I have the nightmares. Because I'm so scared of being their monster and feeling that again. So if you want to get revenge for what happened to your siblings, go ahead. But I won't be a part of it. So what do you say we do then? 